the next book in our Book of Manners series is Mind Your Manners. Looks like we have three different kind of animals here. This looks like a little girl rabbit and she has little bows in her hair. This looks like a little girl mouse. She has a pink shirt on. This looks like a little boy. It's like a little cat or something with a hat. Mind your manners. Oh, here's about calling names. Amanda, mind singer James, she called her sister horrid names. She called her brother names as well. So bad I wouldn't dare to tell. It's shocking how a group will act act when they have no matters manners that's a fact so when you don't have manners you get a little mean is what that's saying orderly ordering people when john d pell wants something done do you think he ask he ask of everyone oh no he orders someone to with Get my hat or tie my shoe. The groups will say rude things like these. But you, of course, say, if you please. Oh, this is about teasing. It's about a pig, the word teasing. How thoughtless was Roberta Lee's for only thoughtless children tease. He teased the little pussy cat. He teased the puppy. Think of that. He even teased his sister, too. I think he was a goop, don't you? Talking while eating. A group that always makes us, me smile is this one. Mary Duke Argyle. His mouth is full from cheek to cheek. Why should he attempt to speak? He makes me smile, but still, the fact is, it is a most unpleasant practice. So he eats with his mouth full. Oh, throwing things away. On the sidewalk, Nancy Beale throws her old banana peel, throws her apple skin and cores right in front of people's doors. Isn't that a shocking trick? Ask that group to stop it quick. Yeah, so see, we don't throw things on the sidewalks in front of people's doors. We either take them home with us and put them in trash or find a trash barrel on us on wool by where we're, we're walking. That's where we throw the trash. Look at this. Selfish with toys. What does selfish mean? Selfish means when you just want it all to yourself. A puppy, when he gets a bone, will keep it for himself alone. So Bill Dad would not share his toys or lend them to the other boys. He was a goop and so are you. If you are ever selfish too. So he just want, did not want to share his toys at all. And, of course, the puppy didn't want to share his bone either. Snatching toys. Oh, snatching. Is, let's read about snatching. No children ever like to play with such a goop as Jumbo Ray. For he will snatch and grab the toys of all the little girls and boys. Through Jumbo loves to fuss and fight. You know, of course, it isn't right. So, snatching toys. So that means taking them away. So he uses snatch and grab the toys of all the girls and boys. Oh, whining. Whenever I hear a puppy whine, I always think of Susie Klein. I think of how she hangs her head. She doesn't speak, she whines instead. Don't whine. If you don't speak right, you're a goop without a doubt. So when you're whining, oh, I used to say to, you say to little girls and boys, 
you should you should be girl voice or you should be boy boy voice instead of whiny. It's much easier to get what you want when you don't whine. Lying and fibbing. The queerest group in all the land was Annie Annabelle Legrand. She often said that what wasn't true. That's an awful thing to do. But we are honest, you and I, and we think it's wrong to tell a lie. So telling a lie is when you when you say something that's not true. Sticking out your tongue. Do you ever stick your tongue out like Isabel McClug? No one but a group would show rudeness such as that, I know. If you're good, take my advice. Please don't do it. It isn't nice. So don't stick out your tongue. It's not what our tongues are for. They're to help us eat and to speak. Saying I won't. I won't, says young Annabelle Pratt. I won't do this. I won't do that. Now, isn't won't the naughtiest word that anyone has ever heard? Now, isn't that the rudest way a group could ever say? I should say. Wow. So instead of saying I won't, something else that you would say is like, I will try. And yes, I will. You could say, I will, or I'll try. I won't. It's not very good. Cheating at games. Wow. If you should ask why, Rosamud, Isabel, Puddingfoot was shunned, I'd say, because she's always, all, she's always cheat in every game. So she could beat. Only a group would act that way. But beat and be dishonest in her play. So when you're playing a game, play the best that you can without cheating. Because that's no fun for anyone. Snuffling and sniffling. Annie, Fanny, Ruffle, Riff. Hear her sniffle, hear her sniff. Hear her sniffle, hear her sniff. See her. Well, I've said enough. You have seen her, I suppose. The group that seldom blows her nose. Who seldom blows her nose. So she's sniffing all the time and snuffing. She needs to go find a Kleenex, doesn't she? And blow her nose. Oh, not going to bed. I never saw Ural dead when he was glad to go to bed. There always was one thing to do before he could take off a shoe. The little group was always late. I hope you don't procrastinate. Procrastinate means you put it off and put it off and put it off. Just get ready for bed and go to bed. And the next series, Mind Your Manners. And for more books and resources, just go to homeschoolforlife.org.